Howdy folks, this is Mike Roy from artistsmith.com and I'm going to show you today how to create a landing page in Divi. And what I modeled this after was I really liked the lead pages template or one of the lead pages templates that uh, is a very simple opt-in. And so what you have here, just piecing this together, you have the background, you have the really attractive lady, um, and then you have the logo here, you have a nice headline, and then you have a call to action, you have a button where you can download the report, and you have the little notice that, you know, just to let people know that you're not gonna just spam them. And then down here you have some copyright information. And according to lead pages, this is one of their highest, uh, their highest converting uh, pages. So having Divi and having all of the resources that Divi offers, uh, and not really, I'm not really quite there yet with my business, um, paying the uh, monthly fee for for lead pages. So I thought, well, why not create a landing page in Divi? So here's my theme, um, and I'll just we'll just start we'll just create a landing page from scratch. So we're gonna say pages add new. Oh, real quick, I wanted to show you behind the scenes of this of this page. Um, right, this stuff you see here is just the WordPress SEO plugin. But default Divi, you're going to see this is all that's behind this page. And really the bulk of the page is in this module right here. Um, so it's just a text module and there's the information and that's pretty much it. This is a pad which I'll show you how to create and that's just the Facebook tracking pixel so for my Facebook ad I can um, it's just something from Facebook you cut and paste into your page to for it to track no big deal. And this is also a pad. So you, everything here is also done with just a text module. There's no fancy other module that I'm using. I do need to mention this is my MailChimp for WP plugin. And if you have MailChimp, which is, by the way, is free, um, then you can, you also need to make sure that you're using your MailChimp API key um, from your MailChimp. And then your plugin goes here. So um, be, be sure you have your MailChimp for WP plugin set or a similar plugin and then uh, that's that will help you with your landing page. So going back to adding a new page. So we'll, let's say we want to create a landing page through our Divi uh, theme and we'll just call it uh, opt in, uh, let's call it free re Port. Pretty generic, but and we want to use page builder, so we'll tell it we want to use the page builder. This stuff is WordPress SEO, so don't worry about that. That's a plugin. So here's here's where we have start with our page builder. So first thing we want to have everything here you see is a container. This background is a fairly large background inside a container. And so now I'm going to show you in my Photoshop file I've I downloaded this uh, stock image, paid for and downloaded this stock image. I used, actually used Envato.com and I liked this happy artist. She's really happy. And But what I wanted to do, I wanted the, as you see here, I wanted the her on the right and I wanted the box on the left. So how I did that was I just did a little bit of magic in Photoshop, just sort of scaled this left canvas thing. It was kind of blurred out anyway and pushed her to the right so that I could put the opt-in box on the left. So back to back to our landing page in Divi. So we're going to insert a column. This is going to act as a little bit of a pad at the very top. And we're going to insert just a blank text module. And I just really use the text modules a lot because I've found that they're just really flexible. So as you see, it's just a blank text module excuse me, blank test module, nothing going on. I'm just going to call this blank spacer. Okay. And, oh, we need to set our background for this section. So 
going to click that little uh, triple layer icon, upload an image, and I've already uploaded this image to my image library, so, and I set that as background. So that's my background. Everything else is, you can just keep it as is. So now if we were to preview this page, oh, one more thing I forgot. You see that? How Actually, this is good that I'm showing you this. If you just preview the, if you just use the page as is, you get this, which is just your theme with all the stuff around it, which you don't want. So that's why we say here, template blank page. That's the key right there, because what that's going to do is now when we hit preview, it's going to let us have a blank page without all of the stuff. Okay. And so then we're going to go back, going back to our page, our free report page, we're going to insert another module. Um, actually, we're going to add a row. I'm sorry. That's, that's a row just acting as a space. So we're going to insert another module. And this is our module where we're going to have our, uh, our text input on the left and our image on the right, just the blank part of the image on the right. On the right. So we want to insert a module, text, and this is also going to be a dummy text module or dummy spacer, or whatever. This is just admin label. This just lets you know when you watch it in, when you see it here in your uh, page editor, that's, that's, that way you'll know that's just a dummy. Here's where all the magic happen, happens. Here is your text module that's going to contain the opt-in offer. So we're going to create a text module. Um, our plan is for the background to be dark, so we want our text color to be light. It could be whatever you want. Um, and then let's say, I can't remember now what I've... Okay, I centered all the text, so uh, I want my text orientation to be center. And then down in the content area, I'm going to add media. And the first thing I want is my logo. So I'm going to put my logo there. Let's make sure I use the right size logo. And I'm going to insert that into the page. All right, so that's the Artist Myth logo. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, type a headline of subtype. Um, in this case, I've put get a free artist resource kit. So um, here I'm going to say just enter your email to get a free report. And all right, and then I'm going to say. Um, in the case of this MailChimp, uh, this I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now let's preview. And now we see we've got our logo and we've got our little title tag, uh, but we don't see our solid background that we want. So to get that, we're going to hijack something that's already built into Divi. And so we're going to go back to our page. We're going to add a row. We're going to add an element just for the purposes of copying what it is in it. We're going to add a call to action module. So add the call to action, leave everything default, save. You can change the color right now if you want, but you don't have to. So there's the call to action. Now we're going to preview again. And now we see that that blank call to action module is just a blank uh, colored box. And we're going to use our trick, inspect element. This is, again, in the Chrome, Google Chrome browser. We're going to right click or control click, inspect element. We're going to look at what that exact element is. And it's this div class. This is the key right here. We're going to select this whole line copy it. We're going to go back to our uh, page creator. We're going to delete that call to action box because we don't need, need it anymore. Go into our text box and go into the text section so we can edit the HTML of that. 
And in this area before our title, we're going to paste that entire line that we copied. All right, so um, let's let's save that and look at what we got. All right, so we have this box colored colored box has been moved up here. So let's go back in here, go back to our text box, and I'm going to move this close this closing div after our title and let's go ahead while we're at it and give our title tag uh, well I won't do it I won't do it here I'll do it here so you can see what I'm doing we'll go ahead and give that a, a larger a larger setting save preview and now we see that we have our h3 tag for our title and we have all of it encased in this colored box from that div class that we hijacked from the divi theme but let's say we want to change the color to something a little more appropriate to this image um, to do that let's go back to our photoshop Now we're in our photo, we're back in Photoshop, and this is just to, we're using Photoshop to sample an image. So we're going to select the little eyedropper. Let's go down to this little pur bluish purple. Zoom in so you can see what's going on here. We're going to select the eyedropper and select this little bluish purple color here. That's a nice color. And then we're going to select the swatch. And down here we have the, the hex code for this color. We're going to select it, hit copy. And then we're going to go back into our text HTML editor and we're going to select this little hex code for that colored background. We're going to paste our new hex code in there for our bluish purple color. We're going to save. Now let's preview. And now we have that nice purple color. All right, and then next we're going to put our cursor on the end of that headline, hit enter. And we're going to add our little book image, which is, I believe it's this one. Start into page, hit enter again, and then then what we're going to do is go into our MailChimp for WP, go into Forms. We're going to paste this exact little short code. We're going to go back into our text module. And then we should use text to make sure we're putting it in the exact same place because we want it to be within this div tag where, where our blue background is. So right after the book cover image, we're going to paste this short code in here so that our form is under there. We're going to save. Now let's preview. And now we have not only our image, we have all of this which is provided from our uh, WP for MailChimp form. This is all set. You can set a title, you can set the email field, um, the button color, all of that stuff in that plugin. Uh, so there you have it. You have a full page Divi landing page. Without the Divi stuff, without any links to your website, you can uh, point a Facebook ad or any other thing to this landing page and it can live on your server with your Divi site, with your Divi theme, with, and it could be editable with, from within Divi, but it is just a full screen landing page. Thanks for watching this, and if you have any other questions or comments or anything like that, feel free to email me at mike at artistmyth.com. Thanks for watching.